Hello guys, thank you very much for watching my latest video. Today I'm going to be playing Gary's Mod. If you, remember, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like or share it with your friends. So, without further ado, let's begin. Hi guys, today I'm making my very own guide for Gary's Mod because there aren't enough of them on the hub. So, we're going to go over all the basics that you need to know. First things first, we are going to do walking. What you will have to do with this is press your key on the keyboard. It is the third from the top and two, no, the third from the left. It is represented by three, no, I'm sorry, four slashes lined up in such an angle that it forms the shape of a W or an M if you're looking at your keyboard upside down. You press this and you move forward. You hold it down and you keep moving forward. Amazing, isn't it? Now, we'll move on to the next key. Two, it's a triangle, and it has two struts coming out at the bottom. This forms the shape of an A. You press this key, and you strafe to the left. And so, you can strafe to the left, or move forward. You strafe to the left using the A key. Now, we'll go into this one. This key is sort of a wiggly design, sort of like a snake, forms the S key. You press the S key, you will go backwards. And by doing so, go backwards. And so, now we're going to move on to the fourth essential key, which is half of a circle, essentially, and this forms the D key. The D key will let you strafe to the right. And so now you can master all your basic movements. And so you see that key right below the A. It is to the left, the very far left of your keyboard, but it's right below the A. It has that arrow and those strange glyphs which spell out the word shift. You press that key, hold it down, while simultaneously holding down the W key, will cause you to sprint. It's an amazing notion, and no one's really ever thought of it before, so... Now we're going to move on to jumping. To jump, you need to press the one key on your keyboard that actually has no glyphs or symbols on it. This is called the spacebar. You press this button, and you will be able to jump. Amazing. And now, if you're ever in a dark situation, you will need to use the flashlight key. This glyph is represented in a vertical line with two horizontal lines jutting out of the top, forming the F. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the English alphabet, I cannot help you at this point. The F key, if you press it, will turn on your flashlight. You do not need to hold it down. You press it again, and it will toggle it on and off. And so now, we'll move on to crouch. Right below the shift key, as we went over earlier, Right below that, and again to the far left of the keyboard, there is the small, strange combination of glyphs which form the English letter CTRL. This stands for control. If you hold down this button, you will crouch. If you just tap it, then you'll just sort of crouch and then go back up again. So just holding it down will be what you need to do. Now, if you press the key that has no glyphs or symbols, combined with this control key, you can crouch jump which gives you a little bit of extra air and may let you jump over those hard to get places. Now, there's just a couple more keys we need to go through here. There are two slanted key, two slanted glyphs which form sort of a bowl with a pointed edge. This is called a V. You press this key and it enables no clip mode, which lets you fly through the walls and the floor of the map. You press this again to toggle it off and drop back down to the ground. And now, if you hold down and so now, this one is like a half circle, but pointing the other way, and without the separate line cutting in half. This is called the C key. If you hold this down, it will open up your context menu. Make sure you hold it down. This is where you can choose your player model, use various add-ons that will appear here, or just choose NPC or drawing options. And so finally, we'll be moving on to this strange key. It's right next to the top key that lets you move forward, the slants that form the W, right next to that, to the left, is a circle with a strange glyph on the bottom forms the letter Q in the English alphabet. You hold this down and it will open up your spawn menu, letting you spawn whatever you want. From props to NPCs to weapons to entities, holding this key down will give you ultimate power over everything in Gary's mod. Just release the key to stop making it work. Also, if at any point in time of the game you need to take a break, right above the very top of the keyboard and all the way to the left, is this strange glyph which forms the word ESC, which stands for escape.
pressing this will open up your pause menu, where you can choose various options as disconnecting, joining multiplayer game, or resuming the game. Either clicking resume game or pressing the ESC key will continue your game. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I did not mean for this to be a serious actual guide. Um, I was just sort of making fun of the guides in the workshop for Gary's Mod. However, there are actual guides on Gary's Mod other than how to crouch and jump. Believe me, there are actually some pretty good ones out there. So if you want to go ahead and give it a search, feel free to. Um, just be warned, there actually is a large amount of guides that are a lot like this. So this is just for kicks and grins, and I hope you have a nice